I'm back everybody with another Blu-ray and DVD update also. It's been a while since I've done one. I got a lot of Blu-rays over the holidays. I bought a couple of my own with some of my own money that I got for Christmas. Let's cut to the chase. Fight Club. I watched this for the first time recently. Fight Club was a really intense movie. Very deep and very dark at the same time. To paraphrase what Chris Duckman said in some of his Blu-ray videos, it's one of those movies where you just watch it for the first time and you're just like, what? is this? And the more I think about it, the more positive my thoughts are. And I really like Fight Club. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. A time to kill. I've seen parts of this. That being said though, you want to watch this in its entirety sometime soon. One of my favorite westerns, True Grit. I guess you could say the sun was in your ass, or I should say your eye. And we have a classic film, Dr. Zhivago. I've only seen parts of Dr. Zhivago. I have never seen the whole thing in its entirety. Please, don't kill me. Don't worry. I will watch this at some point in the future. Another one that I've only seen parts of, but I know the famous line. Say hello to my little friend. Scarface. And we have another film by Christopher Nolan that I have been wanting to see for a while. One of his earlier films, Insomnia. It's got Robin Williams, may he rest in peace, and Al Pacino, once again. I've been wanting to see this for a while, and I heard it's, some people say it's kind of boring because it's a thriller and not so much a big action movie. Well, if it was made earlier on in his career, I think you have to take that into consideration. I will watch this at some point soon. Don't worry. And we have one of the best films of 2014, in my opinion, and one of the best comic book films of recent years, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed this movie. All the actors all around were perfect for their roles, and Rocket the Raccoon stole the show. Bradley Cooper. And the soundtrack was just... Ah. Apes on horses. Pretty awesome movie. Now, I'm about to cause a bit of controversy here, so please do not shoot me for this. Anybody who's been following me, you guys know that I love Sam Raimi's first two Spider-Man movies, and I've said in the past in some of my videos you've been paying attention that I don't like Spider-Man 3 enough to own it. Well, I changed my mind. I like the first two so much that you know what? There are some times where I do feel like watching Spider-Man 3. There are parts to 3 that I like. There are parts to it that aren't so good. I mean, the emo Peter scene, doesn't really bother me as it does most people. The thing that bugs me the most is Sandman killing Uncle Ben. I hate that. It was never intended from the beginning. I understand the idea behind it, but I can't really go into any in-depth thoughts because I'll be here forever. Some people will say, well, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is better. No, no, no. Don't even try to go there. Don't even go there. I do kind of like this movie. Is it a good movie overall? Mm, it's disappointing as hell, but it does have some good parts to it. And seriously, guys, leave Tobey Maguire alone, okay? Speaking of that, the Tobey Maguire love fest continues. Pleasantville. I've seen parts of this, once again, another movie that I've seen parts of, but I know Tobey Maguire's line, we're in Pleasantville? I saw parts of it on TV when I was younger. I don't really remember a lot of it, but I heard a lot of good things about this, so I definitely do want to watch it sometime. And a DVD that I got for Christmas, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I've been wanting to see this for a while. I, li I like me a good Western. I I've yet to see a good number of classics, but Robert Redford and Paul Newman should be pretty interesting. And we got one movie where every time I watch it, it always gets me. Cast Away. Wilson! Wilson! I, I swear to God, every time he loses Wilson on the water, oh, oh God, Tom Hanks always makes me cry on some form. Oh my God. Sergeant Dottie Donowitz. You might know him better by his nickname. The Bear Jew. The Glorious Bastards. Pretty good movie. And next up, one of my all-time favorite movies. Loved by some, hated by others. Forrest Gump. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. And now I finally completed the Indiana Jones trilogy. Temple of Doom and Raiders of the Lost Ark. I like the other two movies, even though Last Crusade's my favorite personally. Raiders of the Lost Ark is a good movie. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I think it's a good movie. I don't like it as much as Last Crusade, though. Same thing for Temple of Doom, but I like it a little bit better than Raiders. The only thing I don't like is the girl in here, who's now Steven Spielberg's wife. She annoys the crap out of me, but I like the kid in here. You cheat! You cheat very big! <laughs> and we have another Christopher Nolan film, another one of his earlier films, Memento. A lot of people have been telling me that you have to watch this dude if you're a Christopher Nolan fan. I'm gonna watch this one day, don't you worry. But I've heard, also heard that it's one of those movies where you gotta watch it like five times or something because it's reversed or something. I don't know, I'm trying to stay away from anything that could spoil it, so I will watch this sometime. And we got Tom Cruise, probably one of his best performances, Collateral. I watched this again recently for the first time in like 10 years or so. 
Ooh, Tom Cruise is a badass in here, and Jamie Foxx is really good in here, too. Another thing I noticed about this movie, watching it again, it looks like it was filmed in the 1990s or something because of the nightlife and everything. Yeah, definitely recommend it. If you're a Tom Cruise fan, you'll like this. If you're not a Tom Cruise fan, if you don't like him, well, you get to see him get shot near his jaw at one point. Spoiler alert. And again, another little bit of a controversial choice here. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. It has its moments, not as good as the other two, but I actually kind of like it. And I, I like how it sets it up for the war against the machine. I like it a lot better than Salvation. And now we reach the final Blu-ray. Not my words, but Mothman Jones's words. Unwritten tagline for this movie. Bitches be crazy. Came out on Blu-ray today and I picked it up as soon as I could. I never want to get married or have a girlfriend after watching this. Never. All right, we're all tied up here, so thank you all for watching my Blu-ray update. Hopefully I'll do more of these in the future, and until next time.